40 years after nuclear disaster, Chernobyl wild dogs are now genetically distinct. Almost 40 years after the Chernobyl nuclear disaster in Ukraine, hundreds of stray dogs roam the Chernobyl exclusion zone. Many of these pups are the descendants of pets left by families fleeing the disaster, and the lack of human influence in the area has allowed them to flourish. Now, researchers are studying the potential effects of long-term radiation on these dogs and just discovered that. Those living within the 18-mile nuclear exclusion zone are genetically distinct from other dogs. The study, published in the journal Science Advances, examined 302 dogs living varying distances from the Chernobyl power plant, comparing the genes of the dogs residing within the plant to those between 9 and 28 miles away. Among dogs in Chernobyl city, an area 9 miles away from the power plant, and Slavutic, a city for evacuated power plant workers 28 miles from the power plant, the genetic diversity varied considerably. This research suggests that dogs from farther cities rarely bred with dogs closer to the power plant. Scientists hope that future studies will show more definitive effects of radiation on dog populations in and around Chernobyl, such as how their generic differences may impact their health, behavior, and appearance over time. Further research may also help scientists learn about genetic mutations that help animals survive radiation. Hopefully, future testing of Chernobyl dogs will also reveal the potential effects of radiation on people. According to geneticist Elaine Ostrander, the dog's DNA samples are incredibly valuable because dogs and humans share similar spaces and diets. The dog's survival despite long-term nuclear exposure is remarkable for another reason. Immediately after the Chernobyl disaster, Ukrainian government officials launched a pet calling program, citing concerns that the dogs would unnecessarily suffer and spread the contamination to other areas. Thankfully, this program was not successful in completely killing the dog population. And now scientists and guards are finding a silver lining in the dog's presence in the area. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel.